As these interest rates skyrocket, mortgage demand is dropping within the housing market. Mortgage rates are at the highest level, believe it or not, since the 2008 housing crash. And according to Mortgage Bankers Association, a 30-year fixed mortgage rate right now is just over 6%. A week ago, hovering near that 6% mark, and a month ago, just over 5%. Buyers and sellers are now in a standstill as the housing market comes to a slowdown. News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan joins us now. So, Lydia, we see these numbers. We see these rising interest rates. What is the most important thing people need to know right now about this current housing crisis? It's a simple inverse relationship. The more that mortgages are going up, the fewer people actually want to take out a mortgage right now. And of course, the irony is that, you know, over the pandemic, it was so difficult to get a house. They were in such short supply and the, the prices were getting extremely high. But mortgages were plentiful and had low interest rates. And now, of course, the opposite is true, that there are more houses easily accessible, getting a little bit cheaper. The mortgage rates are skyrocketing. And of course, this is all tied to what's happening generally in the economy with inflation and the Federal Reserve. And yesterday, we got the Consumer Price Index report coming out showing that inflation was much higher than we had expected to see. And that sort of disrupted everything. And so in response to that, um, just hours after we got that data, mortgages hit that new high of just over 6%. Um, because, of course, markets anticipating that Federal Reserve will have to keep interest rates high for the foreseeable future. and that sort of trickles down and, and, of course, affects anyone who's a borrower. Well, what is it going to take to, to get these interest rates back under 5 percent, dare I say under 4 percent? Well, it seems like it's going to take much longer than we had hoped even just a couple days ago. This this report was really seen as sort of a setback because we were hoping that inflation had peaked and that we were on this downward trajectory. This report showed that actually core inflation, which is the number the Federal Reserve looks at when whether considering whether or not to hike rates, that has actually climbed. And so we're certainly need, going to need to get inflation under control um, for the span of at least three months or more. Um, the hope had again earlier in this week been that maybe we could look to uh, stop raising rates next year. And just given the fact that inflation is still very sticky, still remaining stubbornly high, it seems like we'll have to continue raising interest rates um, certainly through next year. And, and it doesn't appear that the end is in sight for raise it or for interest rates yeah. kind of normalizing and, and coming down. We just got to buckle up uh, for this ride. OK, Lydia, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.